Howdy everybody, Drunken Knife Reviews here, with less of a knife review and more of a discussion. Pardon the shaking uh, from this literal butthole. I want to talk today about collecting as a whole. Move it, cat. Get down, please. And I've been in a bit of a collecting rut lately. And I'm sure that this may happen to you. If other things you're interested in is you get, in, get into something and, you, and then maybe you don't quite lose interest but you lose that fervor or something. And uh, I haven't bought a knife since Christmas and it's early February now which I know isn't that long of a time. Cats, please stop that. Um, but it's it's unusual for me, per perhaps. Um, and I think the reason I've been on in sort of a rut of I just can't find anything that I'm really like. Nothing's tickling my fancy, you know. Nothing's splooshing me. Um, and I think it's because of my four most recent knife purchases. That is. They already reviewed, but recently blue anodized probably won't show. Got some mountains on there. Uh, Spider Co. Spider Chef. The uh, also previously seen uh, same condition. Um, Spider Co. Squarehead. The previously unreviewed Spider Co. Paramilitary Two in S110V uh, and then the Spartaco Rhodey in slip joint style and the reason that these four knives have really slowed my, my collection is because it's kinda all I've been carrying I really like the one-handed openability of the Spyderco Rhodey, even if it's not super convenient. And for some reason it's it's just a joy to have around in my pocket. And I've been obsessed with carrying two knives at a time lately. I carry a big knife in my front right pocket and a small in the pocket knife in my front left pocket. Just because I work more in an office setting and then I previously have and I don't need to be fiddling around with big old knife all the time but I can a little bit more get away with fiddling around with a knife that can sort of be hidden under my arm at a meeting if I'm fiddling around something like that um, and, I, and, and with this idea of carrying two knives I've been really entertained by the, by trying to match knives up, find a pairing for a knife. And I'll, I'll get more into that in another video, I'm sure. But it has an extra dimension to my collecting. I have, if I see a knife I like, I'm like, that's cool. What could I put with that in my other pocket? What is a small match to it, or what is a large match to that knife? And for me, that was part of my impetus for getting the roadie. That was what made me pull the triggers, because it would match the Spidey Chef in general blade shape. Not quite, but rough. You know, they're complementary if not matching. I got the I knew this was coming in blue, so I stuck with the blue handle on this one. If I hadn't got this blue, I would have gotten a gray one of these. And I really feel like they I like the complementariness of them and, and this carries pretty deep, especially in my uh you know slash pocket dress of your pants and then when I'm wearing jeans I, I rock the, the paramilitary um, which is just a delight action wise and I've been rotating through what I carry with the paramilitary um, because before the roadie I carried these two together but I'm trying to pair this up with the Kaiser Sheepdog uh, CO1C um, similar choppy blade shapes but 
in all my other rotations of knives, these two have been the primaries, and these two have been the, the primary secondaries. And that's just been where I'm at with knives. I just, nothing's, nothing's sparking my interest, nothing's hooking me lately. So, I guess that's what that was about. Let me know in the comments or, you know, make your own video. That's why I'm doing it because it's fun. It, uh, what what knives have, have done that for you in the past or other gear that you feel like was so good that you just sort of stopped looking for other stuff, you know? Not quite a monogamy or monophamy, um, but almost, relatively speaking. You know, most of my pocket time is these, these two suckers, and these two less flickable suckers. Um, fuck off, cat! Quit chewing that. Uh, yeah, that's that's been that's part of why my videos haven't been popping up lately, is I've just been in a rut, I haven't been collecting, I've been just fiddling with the ones I got. But uh, I'll try and finish up videos with what I got in the collection, maybe, if I'm feeling it, over the next few weeks. Thanks for coming, folks. Cheers.